Okay, so, um, on the topic of sundials, um, I'm going to tell you a little story. I was uh, trying to figure out the equinox for myself literally at the last minute this year. I wanted to get out there and say I at least tried, and this all came in so fast I, like, had no time to react. So I was out in my yard at, like, <laughs> 9 p.m. in my PJs sawing and nailing wood together like a madman trying to put something together real fast and, you know, to try and at least be able to say I tried. And, you know, it's a good thing we don't have neighbors out here. They would have thought I was crazy. But um, I've included some links below for how to set up a sundial. Uh, this can be done very, very simply. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I had pictures of uh, what I attempted to do. Uh, I'm not saying you have to do that. I, I Definitely. I, I think uh, the second video that I have down in the bottom, uh, uh, Juan Carlos video, where he's just got a, a table and he kind of leveled it and he's recording. I, th I think that looks like a nice way to do it. Um, I, I have been thinking lately uh, how to verify the equinoxes, but verifying the solstices, um, the longest and shortest days of the year, seems to be easier to me. I, I'm not really sure. I, I'm very inexperienced. Um, but I, I, I'm thinking you could do that by uh, putting a simple stick in the ground and marking the shadow at its highest and lowest positions. Um, and not east, not east to west shadow, but kind of north and south shadow, the highest and lowest positions. And then because the creator's calendar is a perfect 364 days, you know, minus the whole leap year, leap day thing, uh, you should be able to just add uh, 30, 30, 30, you know, one day to kind of confirm the equinoxes, depending on which one you were looking at. Um, so uh, I guess I recommend you check out the uh, links in the, in the description below. Uh, shalom and Yah bless.